What's going on guys? Today I'm filming this uh, beautiful vintage uh, receiver and amplifier from Sansui and Techniques. They are beautiful, they are very nice, they have beautiful sounds, the quality sounds, the clarity is amazing. Today's topic guys, I wanted to talk about why do we like vintage, okay? If you ask me why I like vintage guys, uh, I would definitely say because of the looks and the sounds, okay? I go for the looks and the sounds. First, I love the first, uh, the face plate, the silver face plate, yeah? Uh, the, the looks, the knobs, and most of all, the sounds, okay? I love the looks of the vintage receivers, amplifiers, because they look so nice, they look so cool. And definitely the engineers that created Japan stereos, it's amazing. I've been collecting vintage stereos and Japanese made, it's really good. They last for a very long time. The one on the left, guys, is my Sansui. It's a G2000 and the sound quality is amazing and that is made in japan and until now guys it's still working it's in a good condition the sounds is still there there's no cracking sounds when you turn the volume up it's just amazing that is from 1978 i believe and the engineers in japan built this Sansui G2000 and I've been using this for a long time now and it's just amazing the sound guys unbelievable I have a Sansui SP1500 speakers and I have another SP2000 Sansui speakers and definitely I use this Sansui for those speakers and the quality sounds, guys, between the two is just amazing. Vintage receivers, guys, it's hard to find nowadays. You can get it online if you want. You can get it in eBay, but you're going to have to pay more. But if you explore out there and just to, you know, hunt them, they are not easy to find. I've been going to different places I've been going to flea market and I've never seen like a Sansui like my G2000. They are not easy to find and people own Sansuis. They don't let them just go until you offer them good money or they will sell it for a high price. It's because the it's vintage and it's hard to find nowadays. For some of you guys, you guys like... Um, they probably like modern um, stereo receivers or amplifiers, uh, the black face plate, um, but they cost more. Um, they cost thousands of uh, money and uh, they are nice looking, but um, some of them are uh, not really made in Japan. And uh, the material that they use, I believe it's plastic. Uh, the vintage guys, it's uh, sometimes it's uh, some of the vintage are metals, okay? Some of them are still probably still aluminum or maybe some are plastics, but most of the vintage guys, like the one on the right, which is my techniques, that is metal, okay? Metal and it's heavy, just like my Moran's. And uh, this techniques has a beautiful sounds and um, the looks is just amazing as you can see those knobs those big knobs there and the buttons and uh, I really uh, got this for a really low price I did a good score with this techniques and then uh, added in my collections and they are not uh, cheap guys if you buy them in eBay they are um, high price um, plus shipping and handling and I probably will pay 
triple if I bought this in eBay. Yeah, this techniques. So I love to have good stuff, um, uh, good stereos, and I would love to pay for low price. That's how I uh, do it. Um, vintage guys is really, really uh, uh, good stereos. Um, the sounds quality, uh, it's amazing. And like I said, um, like always, but uh, some people don't like um, vintage stereos and they uh, like the modern ones, but they cost more money. So it's their choice to pick which one they want and, you know, how much they want to pay. And that is their call. The vintage guys, as you can see, it's totally different from moderns. Yeah. And I will show you down here. This is uh, speakers that I took out. Um, I pulled out from uh, both speakers on the left and other speakers on the right. And I connected to my audio yeah, source uh, receiver. And that's what I use when I watch uh, YouTube from that cell phone. Uh, that's uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah. And uh, my turntable on top of the techniques. Um, that is another techniques. The techniques turntable can cost uh, 300 400 to five hundred dollars on eBay, and you pay the shipping. This turntable, guys, is very uh, heavy. Yeah, like it has weight, and uh, they are very, very nice turntable. Yeah. So I'm really happy about that turntable because I got it for free. One of my neighbors gave it to me. I helped her to get rid of. Uh, the old old uh, vinyl records uh, coming from uh, her husband that used to work in the radio station and now it's gone so she has nothing to do with those records and i cleaned them under more than i believe 300 uh, records close to four maybe 400 records and i picked the good ones it has uh, some of the beatles elvis police um, other stuff, other good, you know, uh, brands like Dire Straits and the rest are from the late 40s or 50s and I don't really know. So I, I uh, took it to a flea market and dumped it on a table and donated it and put a sign free. So whoever wants it, like the oldies, um, you know, all those guys that uh, they like those kind of records, they can have it for free. So I donated them and gave it to them for free. And that's how she uh, repay me uh, with a turntable right here. It's techniques, very good, uh, expensive, and I got it for free. So it was my good day, I'm lucky, and I don't have to pay for turntables like that. So let's see over here the model of this turntable, guys. It's. Uh, SL1200 MK2 that's the model it has a very nice uh, cartridge yeah and this uh, turntable has buttons okay and they use this uh, for the radio station or if you are a DJ and definitely this is what they use but I use this for my records when I listen to it because I match my techniques uh, SU 7600 integrated amplifier and they match so that's very nice yeah they had a beauty they have beautiful sounds yep and over here it's useful guys you see my tubes amplifier my simple setup and uh has a very nice sounds and I put a 
fan here because uh, I want these bulbs to get uh, um, a good cool air so they don't really heat up yeah awesome awesome uh, tubes uh, tubes guys are expensive um, this one is uh, less than a thousand dollars I pay about uh, five hundred dollars and they have four thousand dollars they have more than a thousand dollars they have a couple thousands of dollars up and up and up so tubes are expensive than vintage stereos so for some people they like the um, vintage stereos um, they like those kind of stuff they don't want to mess around with tubes um, for some others they like tubes better because some people are saying the quality sounds of tubes are better than vintage okay but if you ask me guys which one is better i would say they're just about uh you know um, there's difference but you know they're almost close tubes guys i tell you it's very clear very nice the sound quality is amazing and 100 percent, no doubt about it um receiver guys like vintage they do sounds amazing but they are um they are different from tubes the sound quality is i would say it's different they are not the same because tubes has more clarity more refined sounds and but for for other vintage stereos i mean like morans they're i would say almost the same you know almost the same um it depends how you set up your stereos like if you put like a really nice speakers expensive speakers and then you put morans they will sound amazing and uh I know this kind of stuff because I've been collecting stuff and I've been listening to different brands of stereos and I know the the differences of you know stereos and tubes and speakers you know um, amplifiers so I can tell the difference you know but for some of you guys you might say oh it's just the same you know so nothing's really different but when you have good ears when you listen to music um, really uh, you're paying attention with the sounds and you know you're listening to all those uh, ingredients from the sounds you can tell the difference between each and every one of the stereo receivers or tubes so definitely there's difference guys and you know um, I would not really uh, say vintage is like difference uh, I mean not good at all or you know um it's not it's good enough like you know uh tubes but they are they are good and the sound quality are good you know so i cannot say they are bad not n no way they are good tubes are, is good and they are all good it's just that you know has a, a little maybe i would say maybe 10 percent difference from the vintage receivers okay but for others they would not they would not say you know um, they cannot tell or they probably when they listen to music they would say it's the same because they can't distinguish so this video guys it's about you know like i said the vintage but uh i include the tubes you know um, a little uh, couple minutes this video but anyways so this is uh the thing about why do we like about vintage receivers or amplifiers okay so that is the topic for today guys and uh, i hope you like the video and hits uh hit the subscribers and hit all and you will get a notification every time i upload a new video to your youtube channel and you will see a new video so guys thanks for watching and i will see you again next time so for now say bye bye <music>